war has its heroes. The Gaza war in the summer of 2014 includes many stories of heroism within the ranks of the Israeli defense forces. But few of the stories are as compelling as that of American immigrant and lone soldier Shachar El-Baz. This week, El-Baz was given the Bonet Zion Award in the Knesset for having confronted four Hamas terrorists while saving his unit. ILTV's Steve Leibowitz sat down with El-Baz to learn more about the incident. Uh, in the summer of 2014, my unit was, uh, we were given a uh, command to go into a mosque that was, uh, that was in South, South Gaza, in Rafiach. And uh, while we were working on the tunnels that we found in that mosque, I was put on guard. I was put on guard and I was the only one open to fire. Um, and on time, in the time when I was on guard, five Hamas terrorists came running at me with Kalachnikovs, throwing grenades in my direction. Uh, so I had to retaliate. I started firing back. While I was firing back, my weapon jammed. I had to overcome that jam and uh, keep firing. Uh, I was able to overcome that jam fairly quick and uh, kill four out of the five terrorists. You were lucky not to get wounded. Uh, yeah, it's from, uh, I, I believe someone was, was watching over me. Um, because I was, I was open, uh, I was sitting there, I was there like a sitting duck, but uh, I did retaliate just as I was taught uh, throughout my entire service in the army. And uh, it came to play when, uh, in, in real time when, when they were shooting at me. Is it a life-changing experience for you? Do you look at the world in a different way now? I wouldn't say uh, look at the world in a different way, but uh, appreciate things a lot more. I uh, appreciate the land that I live in, in Israel, the land that, I, uh, that I'm willing to do anything to protect. Uh, that's, that's my mindset and that's what sh the change of mind that I've, I've gone through since, since that incident. Sometimes the Israeli army comes under attack from people that claim that it's not uh, humanitarian enough, that it doesn't take the enemy's lives into, into consideration enough. From what you could tell, what, do you, what would you say about the IDF? About the IDF? Um, we have commanders in the IDF that I will follow with my eyes closed, that will, will do. They command me, they, they are sitting above us, and they understand the situation a lot more than just an average soldier or an average, average citizen. And I can tell you from my experience that uh, every person that I came into contact with while at war was treated just as they were supposed to be treated. Citizen, terrorist, um, handicapped, um, everyone was treated accordingly. My son and of course everyone in Israel's sons end up and sons and daughters go to the army pretty much universal uh, uh, conscription but they have an advantage they come home on the weekends and they have their parents there you're a lone soldier. Isn't that tough, especially in wartime? Right. Every, every Israeli has uh, you know, their parents when they come home. But I have, I have also I have my family. I have my friends. I have uh, my brothers that served with me. I have uh, my sisters and brothers that made Aliyah with me. So I have my own family to come back to and to uh, talk about my service and what I went through. Uh, just like the Israelis have their parents to come home to. So. How did your family react to the news of your of your activity? I mean, did they come over here for this ceremony? Uh, for this ceremony, no, they weren't able to come to. But they did come to the ceremony where I did receive the citation from the chief of staff. Um, something that was very important for them to come and support me. Uh, where do they live? They live in Orange County, California, near Los Angeles. Uh, so they made the fly out here uh, out back then when I received the citation from the chief of staff. Um, unfortunately, they, uh, they, they're not here today, but I'm sure they, they're watching some live stream or, or waiting for it to come up on the news. Um, yeah. So your army service is now complete. What are you going to do for real life? For real life, I'm uh, going to work a little bit, try traveling like uh, every Israeli, and uh, start studying uh, in the next year or so. Well, congratulations on your award, and thanks so much for being with us at ILTV. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to ILTV. Have a, have a great evening.